Top Plays begins in Lacey, where Brandon Madsen put his name in the St. Martin's record books. In the 14th minute against Pacific, Madden scored his 31st goal in the Saints uniform, surpassing the career record of 30 set by Zan Dixon in 2011. Madsen scored once more as the Saints rolled 4-0 over the Division III boxers. In Napa, Northwest Nazarene's Ricky Myers found her spot in the GDAC record books. She opens her scoring barrage with this goal off of Maddie Parton's assist in the 22nd minute. The just as time expires in the first half, she does it again, connecting from the top of the box just as the clock hits zeros. To the 74th, the nice feed from Parton once again, and Myers makes the angle work as she secures the hot trick in a 5 1 Nighthawks lead. And then the record breaker in the 80th. Myers pulls the keeper out of position and becomes the first player in GDAC history to score four in a game. Ricky finds her numbers the Nighthawks win 6-2 over Cal State East Bay. Back now towards the inside, top of the 18, cutting in, Sloan scores! Olivia Sloan! Caleb Dunlop on the call as Olivia Sloan scores the opening goal for the Wildcats 3-2 win over Hawaii Pacific. Nothing like a little teamwork for Western Washington against Sonoma State. With time running out in regulation, Libby Hilkema rattles the one-timer off the goalkeeper's hands, and Jenna Kilman is in the right place to clean it all up. The Vikings open the season with their third straight 1-0 victory. Western Washington on the post play at Colorado Mines, with Christian Rotter banging this shot off the post and into the net six minutes into the match. Vikings trail 3-2 in the second half with Dakota Stamna spent the long runner to Ryan Schaefer who beats the keeper for the equalizer. To overtime and George Chaleva is golden on the penalty kick in the 96th minute. Vikings dig past the ore diggers 4-3. In the D2 West Region Volleyball Showcase, Alaska Anchorage going extra points in the fifth set against Biola and the Eagles do not make the win easy. Vanessa Hayes with a couple of great digs before Ellen Floyd puts the match away with the dump that catches the front line off guard. It is the first of three wins in the tournament for the Seawolves. In Pomona, Western Washington looking to stay undefeated on the season against Hawaii Hilo. Fourth set, it is freshman feed on Callie Heilborn with the kill to even the set at 14-14. The Vikings went on to the 25-19 win. To the fifth, Malia Aliaga with the sweet dump to put Western up by two. Match point, and it's Gabby Gunterman putting it away with her 17th kill of the match. The Vikings are covering 8-0 with the victory. To the gridiron, and let's hear it for those special teamers. Check out this fourth quarter punt by Azusa Pacific's Jake Girardi, who gets the Cougars roll right at the goal line for an impressive 67-yard kick. It is the seventh longest punt in Division II this season. The Cougars drop a 51-17 position at Missouri S&T. Finally, our GDAC top plays, Western Oregon with a battle against number 12, Texas A&M Congress. Nice. Smalls looking out to the right. And pressure coming up the middle, and he is sacked. Offense, but going over the top is Curry. Curry's got a man open, and down inside the five-yard line. The Wolves strike big. Get it for this offense, Jackson in the back of the eye, gets it running up the middle, and it looks like he's gonna push over. Offensive lineman, hands in the air, touchdown, Wolf! Sack, blindsided right up the middle. Third time, Miklo Smalls has gone down today. Yeah, great job with the pressure right up the middle. His Curry's looking downfield and looking to get a big play. Right has it, goes up to get it, he catches it, he keeps his feet, he can go all the way, he stays in bounds. Matt Palumbo and Mike Brown on the call as the Wolves fall in the close 34-27 contest to the Lions. That's it for GNAC Top Plays. I'm Blake Tim. We'll see you next time.